Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Match Day Mondays. Um, today is a bit of a different one for me. I haven't played any FIFA on my channel since, uh, well, not finishing Brown Aldo about a year ago or so. But today we're going to be doing a bit of an experiment. We're going to be seeing if we can rebuild Manchester United to win the Premier League title in one season. To do that, I'll be using players uh, in trade deals. So players like Pogba, Lukaku, Sanchez, you know, I'll be using in trade deals to see if I can pick up players that will benefit the team in the long run. So yeah, let's get into it and see how this goes and whether we can rebuild Manchester United to win the Premier League in our first season. Okay, and here we are. We're on the office screen, obviously. You can see the finances there. We have 266.87 million to um, juggle along with 278,000 in wages remaining. The first thing that I want to do is really rebuild the team, probably from the back going forward. We all know that Manchester United's weakness at the moment is in defence, so ideally we need to secure a right back and probably another centre back in order to have a solid defence. In terms of forwards, I think I'm probably gonna keep Rashford as the main guy and probably Martial on one of the flanks. We're gonna to look to bring in some other good midfielders and wingers in the meantime as well so let's see how we do okay so here's our list of players that I think will help Manchester United win the title we've got De Ligt and Kimmich to help the back four Busquets and Isco to help the midfield and Usman Dembele as a winger Jaden Sancho will be a nice addition if we can get him so there's going to be a lot of money going out but hopefully trading some players as well so let's have a look and see what we can do. Okay, so after some initial uh, talks, we have arranged deals for Kimmich, Sancho, Busquets and Dembele. So we're going to see whether we can strike a deal with these guys as well. Okay, so these are the transfers that we've made. Sergio Busquets signs for 17.5 plus Paul Pogba. Don't mind getting rid of Pogba. He's an absolute poison on the dressing room. Usman Dembele comes in for Alexis Sanchez going back to Barcelona plus 60 million. Don't mind that too much. Sanchez is the highest earner at the club and we bring in a young, talented player. Jaden Sancho comes in for 15 and a half plus Jesse Lingard and Joshua Kimmich comes in for just about 30 million and Romelu Lukaku. Probably not the best deal there, but uh, just wanted to get Lukaku off the books. So yeah, that's the four signings we've made so far. Okay, so our assistant manager has uh, managed to get a deal for 68.2 million for um, <laughs> Matthias De Ligt. It's going to be a price worth paying, as he is obviously one of the best young centre-backs around. £38,000 a week. That is nothing for a player of his calibre. So Matthias De Ligt joins the team as well. Now it's just time to sort out those shirt numbers because I hate the numbers that FIFA gives players. Nabil Fakir will be joining us, or is joining us, should I say. It'll be Nemanja Matic plus 33 million. And yeah, that improves our cam position again. Okay, so just as an update, we've signed Moussa Dembele to uh, be the backup striker behind Rashford. It's cost just, over, just under 30 million. Just paid his release clause. Didn't think it was worth negotiating anymore. So with the team now rebuilt, it's about time we saw exactly how the team does in, uh, in, in gameplay. So I will play the first game of the season and then we will simulate the rest of the season and see how it goes. So the deal is done. He's got his new colours on. He makes his debut in our featured game today and it's live. Okay, so here we go. The opening day of the season. Can't wait for this one. Opening day, always special. And it's a good start. Dembele wins a corner. Neatly intercepted. All right, let's go. Kimmich out wide. Now he's looking for support. That's Dembele. Delivered into the box. That's the one. And there's a header from Martial into the top corner and we take the lead. 25 minutes in. That's a great header. Poor defending from the right back really of Leicester is that um, Ricciardo. Either way, 
find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. That's Busquets using his defensive Good eyes vision. there. And that's a great Rashford ball from Fakir ball. through for Rashford. That's a bad shot in the end. Oh. Okay, half time, 1-0. Oh, that's so poor. That though was clever. And that's Maguire and Evans. Getting the ball away. Oh, Rabona into Martial. Could have been a second headed goal for him, but it's not. Good challenge from Kimmich though. He has been our best player in this game by a long way. Oh, that's a pen. Thank you. So Rashford will take the penalty. And it's 2 0. Excellent penalty. And uh, we're well on our way to winning this game. That's a great ball as well, but just a little bit too far in front of Dembele and allowed Harry Maguire to get there. The one time Kimmich actually gets a bit forward and they play the ball into his position, but we finished the game 2-0 winners. And it might have been a bit laboured, but the team didn't have any pre-season games, so maybe that could be why. But yeah, 2-0, decent start. Now it's to see how we do for the rest of the season. So we're going to simulate all the way through to January 1st to see how we're doing at the halfway stage. Let's see if we can come out on top at least halfway through the season. So, um, yeah, halfway through the season, we've played 20 games so far, six wins, eight draws, and six losses. It has been a terrible start to the season. I don't know what's the issue because clearly we've got an excellent goalkeeper, we've got a good back four. I'd say our midfield is pretty good as well with a decent set of attackers, but it clearly isn't enough for Manchester United. Let's have a look at the uh, results that we've had against the big teams. Liverpool, we beat 2-1. Arsenal, we beat 2-1. Man City, we drew 1-1. Chelsea, we drew 1-1. Everton, we drew 1-1. We lost 3-1 to Spurs. Let's hope that we can pick it up in this second half of the season because at this rate we're definitely not going to win the league. Smalling's played eight. That's your reason. Chris Smalling's been playing. Let's simulate the rest of the season and see how we get on at the end. At this rate it looks like we're going to be lucky to even get a spot in the Europa League. Mission failed. Okay, so there is the final standings of the Premier League season. Despite a terrible start to the season and wallowing in 12th position after 20 games, we have clawed it back and come fourth. Now, that's that's impressive from where we were. I think after 20 games, you know, we had we only lost four times in the last half of the season, and we won another nine, drew five. So. I think that's you know that that's that's pretty good. We did finish though 25 points behind Manchester City who eventually won the league, 4 points above Chelsea. So we're going to take a look at mostly the big results. We lost 1-0 to Spurs. So Spurs did do the double over us in the end. And we drew 1-1 with Liverpool. We lost 2-1 against Arsenal. We lost 2-0 to Manchester City and we lost 2-1 to Chelsea as well. So it's very much been one of those <clears throat> seasons where United just can't seem to get anything against the top six but that does mean that we have one last game against Brighton and Hove Albion in the FA Cup final so we will sim to that and we will play the final of the FA Cup it is the big day in the Emirates FA Cup season it is the final of course two terrific teams about to go head to head stay with us We'll have all the action for you here on EA TV, and it's live. This is then the Manchester United lineup. Kevin De Gea starts in goal. 
Ander Herrera plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. Marcus Rashford. Sure on the overlap there with a little flip ah! pass from. Oh, that's a free kick. With these players today. Or it's not. We'll Four, just three, carry on. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. Joshua Kimmich picking up the ball on the outside. On the flank. Good ball in. Rashford's shot is blocked. Fakir there through almost but passes into Dembele's path and that's an unlucky strike it's off the post and that's a bit better we get the ball away it's a good turn by Rashford but the defender somehow got there but he does win it back okay Fakir coming down the wing in towards Herrera, but it's Martial on the edge of the box. It's off the post again. That's the ball out wide we needed. Great pass from Rashford. Good turn inside from Martial. Back to Fakir. And it's 1 0 after 36 minutes, and it's Nabil Fakir who opens the scoring in the FA Cup final. It's a good performance from a very good team, a team that we expected to be better than the opposition. That's the way it's panning out. So Outside of the foot as well. Bit of match. swag on the finish too. David Proper. So it is late now in this first half. Oh no, it's a such a poor pass. Two poor passes in a row from me there. It's a great block from De Ligt. And De Gea makes the save. Sergio Busquets. That's a great ball from Busquets out to Martial. We'll turn in that defender as well. To go oh, why has he only chipped it to there? Well away from goal. Dembele. And here's the There's shot. Dembele's shot blocked. Fakir. Like in a good position there. Is that Martial? Great save from the keeper again. Get the ball down and play it about a little. It's good football. Dembele turns the defender as well. Oh, should have shot. It's a good ball through from Fakir. Finds Martial. Oh, we win a corner though. Wasn't quite the skill move that I wanted. Time for the subs to come in. Fakir's going to come off for Mata. Martial and uh, Dembele are going to be replaced by Sancho and uh, Dembele. But uh, De Ligt heads in the corner. The first set piece that we have that meets the head of one of our players. And it goes straight in. He leapt highest, and it's 2-0 now. That's a good ball out wide by Tashaw. Plays it into Dembele. Oh, Rashford's had a good season. 17 Premier League goals, I think, would be his best out. Well, yeah, it's definitely his best output for a season. There's Sancho out wide towards Dembele and it's 3-0 what a header from Moussa Dembele he might have only scored two goals all season but that one is the biggest one that he scored it might not matter in the grand scheme of the game but he's got a goal in the FA Cup final and there it is we win the FA Cup a very successful team congratulations to them most famous domestic club competition in the world the oldest still widely celebrated and to go up to collect the FA Cup Alan you've done it yeah, it's a magnificent feeling and these players I think defensively they owe those defenders a, a big pat on the back because their success has been based on that the 
FA Cup winners. And there you go. Winners of the FA Cup. So the challenge was to win the Premier League in one season. That didn't happen, but after the start that we made to the season where we had 26 points after 20 games, I'm pretty happy with the fact that we even came fourth. So to get a Champions League spot is, I think, a bit of a, a win in that regard. But we do come away with the FA Cup as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that season, despite failing the main objective but that is the end of this video if you'd like to see me perhaps continue this and we have another season or two uh, looking to win the premier league then please let me know as always guys if you have any feedback for me please leave it in the comment below and if you want to keep up to date with everything that i'm doing including more um, fifa experiments then please subscribe and i'll see you next time